Welcome back to the channel everyone. As we continue to work hard and putting in those long hours at our jobs, making our dreams come true, one young girl from South Florida just turned 18 and became a millionaire this past week for simply posting bikini photos. Yes, this girl, or now woman, Danielle Bragoli, was able to accomplish this using OnlyFans, a content subscription-based service where users pay money every single month to see creators' content. This is usually sexually explicit photos or posts, but it could be used for other purposes. If Bregoli looks familiar, she was notoriously on the Dr. Phil show, she was a guest when she was only 13 years old, and she was out there stealing cars, committing crimes, and then she tried to fight an audience member, telling them to cash her outside because she couldn't pronounce the word catch, and she basically gave a premonition of her future cash earnings that was already engraved in her mind. She is also professionally known as Bad Baby, for some reason that's stylized with random H's and it looks like it was spelled by a six-year-old. What's crazy about OnlyFans is that this is a subscription-based model, and you know why I love stocks like Spotify and Microsoft is that users have to pay every month to keep using their great features. This feels really weird when I'm comparing their business model to this girl's OnlyFans, but she's definitely locking in $24 every single month to unlock special content from her. That's reoccurring money that people are paying her to keep seeing her wonderful posts. She posted on her Instagram the money that she is actually making on OnlyFans, and it actually gives a pretty good breakdown of how she's earning that. So she's earning three quarters of a million dollars from her monthly service. You can also leave tips. <laughs> yes, if for some reason you felt like giving her $23 to post pics of her just simply existing wasn't enough, you can give her even more of your money if you felt like it. So she's earning $5,500 from that. And then she's also making a quarter of a million dollars from direct messages. This is a feature that allows users to be able to directly message content creators and give the illusion that they are having an actual conversation. It's actually really interesting. When researching for this video, there's actually a whole niche of YouTube that is OnlyFans creators giving advice on how to make more money on OnlyFans, such as tips and tricks that work for them. It really is just a salesman gimmick at the end of the day, just like every single other field. Okay, so what is my overall take on Danielle making a million dollars and OnlyFans in general? Well, I'd say good for Danielle. She's just simply making the best of this opportunity. If people want to be thirsty and spend their hard-earned money on photos that anyone for the most part can just see on her Instagram, well, more power to them. The only reason that she is making a million dollars is because there is a demand that people will pay for her pictures. Now, do I think that she will be able to keep up this blistering pace? No, I don't think so. There was probably a lot of demand at first because she just turned 18. This was all brand new. People probably had a lot of curiosity about what her OnlyFans would include. They thought they were getting X in their head when they were really just getting Y. And she might make even more money next month because now this is getting a lot of media attention. Even I'm talking about it. And that just creates more free publicity for her. She really is a marketing genius. Eventually, the fad part of this will start to slow down, just as all things that go viral do. People will quit their subscriptions once they realize $23 a month can actually buy them a full share of QILD. And QILD actually pays you every single month for owning them. Instead of you just sending your money to Danielle, I think this is definitely the better choice for me. Personally, in my life, I had some people ask me to join their OnlyFans. I have always declined and said I can just go on your Instagram and look at your photos there. It's not leaving much to the imagination. Much like anything else that's copyrighted material, it's not that hard to just find leaked content that will inevitably be out there. But the true beauty and the way that OnlyFans sets itself apart is the personal touch. It makes people feel like they are exclusively special to someone, that they have access to photos and videos and can DM someone and get a response. Who cares if they have to pay money? You get those shots of dopamine sent to your brain just like you do when you post a photo and it gets a like on social media. It's like feeling you are part of a selective group and have a perceived connection with someone. This is simping to the max. I can say in life, anytime you have to go out and pay someone to get them to like you, you are doing something wrong. People should like you for the genuine connection you build with someone, and it's not because of them lining up your pockets. Go out and actually do stuff that builds character. Learn a new language, get in the gym, learn how to cook, volunteer, learn a new instrument, watch my YouTube channel, get your mental health right. Doing these tasks would avoid anyone from having to use OnlyFans. 
If you feel lonely, OnlyFans is not going to cure that issue. It's only going to make you feel more alone and now you're going to be broke as well. That's not how we're going to be getting to that financial freedom goal that I always stress. Now you might say a lot of financial YouTubers do Patreon, which is kind of similar to OnlyFans. I would say the major difference is that these financial YouTubers are actually giving out educational content which someone can actually use and take action and hopefully improve their life. People aren't paying Joseph Carlson or Gen X Dividend Investor to take off their clothes as far as I know. Danielle isn't offering anything educational. Just look at how she spells her stage name. It's literally all the proof that we need. Apparently the average OnlyFans influencer is averaging less than $180 a month, but I, I suspect that this is highly skewed from the highest of income earners. That distorts how much an average person actually makes. If Bill Gates and I walk into a bar, the average net worth of that bar is going to be very very distorted from what it would be if Bill Gates wasn't there. Danielle was already famous well before she made an OnlyFans. If she was just an average girl but looked exactly the same as she does today, the thirst levels would not be nearly as high as they are today. Beauty is always subjective. I think people you see every day just, you know, casually walking down the street are beautiful and it's not always just in physical appearance. Plus, since this is still a taboo topic, I'm not sure it's worth risking your social reputation for just a few extra bucks a month. OnlyFans, of course, is a private company. If they ever went public, this would definitely be a sin stock. I don't think that this is exactly advancing humanity, so I'd probably stay very clear of them. I also would love to hear your opinion below on this topic and OnlyFans in general. I normally don't make these kinds of videos about the news, but if this is something you've enjoyed, and want to see more of, just let me know in the comments below and I'll try to make more content like this. If you love me or hate me, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. This is normally the part of the video where I tell you to buy, stash, and collect cash, but I think it would be more beneficial for me to just say, stop simping.